Well, to be honest, I think the data is pretty bad across the board. Um, this morning, at the same time as uh, the fact that we've got these poor labour market data, we had a confirmation of poor PMIs as well. This is the leading indicator of sentiment across producers. So what we have here is a very bad uh, indicators ahead of the European Central Bank's uh, rate decision this Thursday. So the lagging labour market is already showing the impact of slowing economic activity from uh, February and also the leading indicators for the months ahead is showing that activity will will continue to uh, weaken. And when we're talking about numbers like 20, 26% of the workforce in Greece and in Spain being unemployed, that figure is doubled, isn't it? When when we're talking about the young, uh, the the young in particular, up to the age of 24. Absolutely staggering numbers. If we just talk about this 90 million um, actual numbers in terms of unemployed people, I mean, if you talk about it in a, in a relative sense, this is the po total population of a country such as Sri Lanka or Angola. So we're talking about lots of people out of jobs. And the most worrying thing is that this number is rising. Um, and uh, country data is suggesting that um, more and more people are being fired. And uh, given the renewed concerns over Cyprus, over uncertainties in Italy, we think that uh, the labour market situation is only going to worsen. And what is needed now is a boost in confidence. So we think a cut in interest rates, perhaps from the ECB this Thursday, will be very much welcomed.